and little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of The Foremans. Good morning, you guys. So we are yet again in the wonderful household of Miss Clementine Foreman. Actually, she is just watching some political news this morning. She is just going to go ahead and straighten up the house because after yesterday's little business party, it is literally a freaking mess. And it looks like your bills have just been delivered. And we owe 1,323 smillions. But I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Um, this is not what I was referring to, but I don't know if you guys have noticed, we literally have no funds in the bank, and all of a sudden, there's this big old freaking graffiti tag in the middle of Clem's driveway. I mean, I know that we kind of live in the outskirts of Del Sol Valley, but I really wasn't expecting this that soon. Are we serious right now? Like, seriously, 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 are we serious? Because she has to go clean up her house, and then we have to go in the front yard and freaking deface our driveway. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with my initial statement other than the fact that our house is literally trash, but it was a blast. Like I had so much fun just intermingling, meeting new friends, getting engaged to freaking Malik. Like it was literally freaking picture perfect. Speaking of picture perfect, I actually went ahead and hung up Clem's little iceberg salad photo that she took yesterday and I put it on the wall just because I felt like just the colors in it, I don't know, it just seemed to kind of go very well with the color scheme that we have in the kitchen and then also it kind of matches like these I, w I wouldn't really say they're blinds but this um kind of like tinged glass here super gorgeous and then I should if I'm not mistaking have my photo with Malik um <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have the photo. Malik has the photo. Uh, so yeah, they took pictures after their um, engagement and they were just, they're so, so, so cute. But anyway, I'm going to have Clem kind of wrap up her little breakfast scramble. We need to start getting, um, getting to work here. She decided to go ahead and work from home yet again. Like honestly, honestly, I know we don't have like a lot of money. But it wouldn't kill Clem just to hire like a maid for just like a one time service because there's just too much for her to do right now. And we do kind of need to worry about how we're going to be able to pay the bills. So let's go over here and hire a quick little service. I always have the worst time figuring out where the hire service tab is and just a one time maid for 40 simoleons initially and then at 20 simoleons an hour after that. And then, um, oh, oh <laughs> Clem, a little slip of the finger action there uh, I actually meant to hire the maid and then in went the pizza order I don't know what's going on and then I asked you guys um in the uh the last episode there what kind of dog we should get Clem and the golden retriever suggestion by clouded skies literally like tipped the scales everybody's like Clem just seems like she would love herself a little golden retriever and I couldn't agree more we're gonna have her come in here and take a little bubble bath um Clem is just different I don't know how to explain it you guys I've just noticed that she's very like you know she's very educated and she's very classy she loves to watch the news I mean to some I guess that could be a little bit boring but for me personally like I love this about Clem like she is just at a whole different place in her life than I feel like June was around her age and it was really cute because in the comments a lot of people are like oh my god Clem needs to have some babies I couldn't agree more like Clem being a mom yes like let's get on that so I think we should definitely have Malik move in with us just because we are engaged and Clem really I mean if we're gonna marry this man we definitely want to start kind of functioning as a family and getting on that because I, I want nothing more than to see Clem raising her very own little family I think that is going to be something so amazing I don't know why. I just feel really, really good about it for some reason. Like, playing Clem now versus when we first started the Foremans, I was worried, y'all. I was like, mm -mm, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Like, I thought we were doomed. Just because she wasn't at that place where it was her time to shine. It just wasn't her time yet, you know? So we need to work on 500 followers. We also need to update our social network uh, social network profile two times and chat about work with coworkers twice. Looks like Malik just walked in. He wanted to go ahead and pay Clem a visit visit oh that is so sweet you know what I really do feel like if Clem does have a baby sometime soon we need to like reboot Munchkin moms and like make her the head of the group I think that would be 
be freaking fantastic. It'd be like such a throwback to city living. And I mean, I could just see her kind of being that, uh, what is it called? I was going to say CPA mom. I don't know. PSA mom. What is it? <laughs> Clearly I'm not one of those mobs, but you know what I'm talking about? The ones that she's like on the parent team or something. You know what I'm saying? A PTA mom. There we go. I'm actually living for it. I can't wait. Like, I seriously can't wait. Anyway, let's just go and uh, let's see here. It looks like that was 83 freaking simoleons. We're going to compliment his outfit. Um, I guess they were talking about moving in because he went ahead and turned in the keys at his apartment. Everything is ready to go. A lot of you guys are asking about Malik's dog. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have him anymore. He passed away, I would assume, because, you know, Malik and Malik's had that dog for for a very long time like maybe 12 years or something um so i'm not sure if he still actually has him or not but let's just go and ask if he would like to make the move i'm not 100 percent certain if he'll bring any funds with him obviously we could totally use that but if he doesn't it's okay so here we go we're moving in together oh my god we're taking the big freaking step why is it doing this like this is a little strange to me oh wait hold on he he will bring in some funds 20,000 freaking simoleons I mean I feel like that's a little bit a little bit it's a little too much but I I mean uh, should we really have him bring in 20,000 simoleons or should we bring that number down a little bit let me know in the comments down below anyway here we are home freaking sweet home club is going to go over here and kiss this man's neck I love this so much and I really do love the fact that they are so different I think they are going to make the most beautiful little family ever um, and I don't know I'm really excited just to see what their future holds so let's have uh, Malik go over here and pay the bills he's also gonna help Clem out and he's going to remove this little graffiti stain while she comes in here and starts kind of working on her social media tasks so we're gonna just come in and we are going to uh, update our social media status just letting everybody know that um <laughs> we are a Officially living with our bow in so everything every time I think of that I think of like the freaking bachelor challenge I can't remember where it came from necessarily no I think it was I think it was season two with uh Miriam and I know I've been getting a lot of questions about the bachelor challenge you guys like Jen is on it 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 I hear you and I want to give you what you want I, I want to give you what you want what you really really want uh-huh no just playing okay I'm hyper as hell right now so excuse <laughs> excuse me um, um, but yeah, that's definitely coming. I mean, it might be on February 14th, uh, one whole year from the initial trailer launch, but that's okay, you know? Um, at least better late than never. And I hear you guys with the Springstons. I really do. I feel them. I feel them with all my heart. I miss them every day. Like, I love the Foremans, but we love the Springstons. And then there's other things that I also see you guys, like, touching base on as well. Don't worry. I hear you guys loud and clear. Sometimes I don't draw attention to it, but I just want you guys to know I do hear you. These two are just feeling extremely freaking flirtatious. So let's just go ahead and uh, have them give a uh, good old rump in the sack and get their frustrations out. Out. The maid kind of did what she was supposed to do, but if I'm being completely honest, she low-key sucks because she forgot all this stuff here in the kitchen, uh, but then again, she did clean up all of this stuff in the back, so that's actually really, really helpful. Are they done yet? <laughs> At least we know uh, Malik's not a, you know, a one-minute man. Hey, I'm just, oh my god, so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. So he is actually a mu musical genius. So is there anything that he can do in the wonderful world of musical creativity? I'm not really 100% sure. So let's go and see if we can maybe get him started on a job. Um, I do have like a couple ideas of things I would like for him to do. And that was actually one of the reasons Malik and Clem linked up and clicked so well back in the early years because they both had an interest in music at the time it was violin. And at the time for him, I think it was actually um, guitar. So that's kind of where that came from. Sometimes I wonder if maybe him getting into the entertainer career would help. But I don't really feel like there's anything specifically geared towards music, right, um, in, in The Sims. And that's a little frustrating just because I feel like I really would like him to have something like that. So I feel like he might need to be a self – wait, wait, maybe a writer – um, I'm not sure if he'll ever be able to, uh, oh, it says 
author and journalist. No, I don't foresee that happening. Okay, so I guess we're going to kind of just do it like on our own terms. Now, there was something. Um, I can't remember what it was exactly, but I feel like it's in it's the Mix Master Music Station. That is what it is. And although this would obviously be fantastic in my Get Famous LP, uh, again, I can't really foresee any of my Sims in that LP using it. And I can also see Clum having a low-key heart attack with this ugly freaking space box just kind of cluttering up her house. <laughs> Oh no, this is going to be their first fight. I can already feel it. Um, so since we don't have a dog just yet, I guess I could put this stuff in her inventory. Not giving up on the whole dog theory at all whatsoever. Um, just kind of like putting that on pause for a quick, quick second. So I wonder if this means Malik can come over here and he can start producing some new tracks. Yes, let's do this. Um, I don't know if we should have him enroll in like a self- uh, self-employed career track and what that would look like so if you guys have any ideas let me know he is feeling a little hungry so you know what I'm actually gonna have him go ahead and serve a little lunch let's just do some garden salads because I think Clem has a few other things that need she that she needs to do and the way that she looks at him really does make me feel so freaking excited for her like it genuinely does so I'm gonna have her just go do a couple other things she's gonna blog for followers I'm gonna have her go and advertise a minor product I don't know if that means she She's going to get many from that, um, but it would definitely help. Let's also go ahead and share an image. We're going to do some networking with journalists as well. And here is Malik. So I was thinking maybe they could go and do something tonight. Uh, maybe we could get together with the family. I'm not really sure. I kind of want to see my parents. Like I get seriously like separation, like some serious separation anxiety when I don't see them. Like it just makes me feel like... <gasps> You know, kind of weird. So once we're done with that, which it looks like the only thing we need to do is chat about work twice with coworkers. I have this really <sighs> sad theory that we actually need to go to work to learn who our coworkers are. So I'm going to cheat this yet again, just because, you know, I mean, we know who they are, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that we needed to do here. I'm going to have Clem go ahead and maybe call up June. Um, and let's go send a happy text letting her know that we actually moved in with Malik. And we're also going to go ahead and chat. So if we are a part of Munchkin Moms, are we? Uh, I think Malik is a part of Munchkin Moms. So I'm wondering how exactly we can finesse this. Did his mom die? No, wait, hold on. His last name is Melina, correct? Malik Shipman Melina. So his mom should also be a little bit older. Um, and it kind of would make sense that she would pass it on to Clem anyway. So we'll have to see. We'll play around with that idea a little bit later. But right now, it looks like Jude wants to go out with Clem and enjoy the day. She wants to go to the Fountain View Rooftop Cafe. Um, you know what? I absolutely think this would be a fantastic idea. In fact, we should have Dad come with us. So it'll be Pace, June, Malik, and Clem. We've arrived at the cafe, and it looks like Clem and June are going to go ahead and grab some beverages. So that just leaves Malik with the awkward task of basically zhushing the hell out of daddy pace over here which you can tell he is extremely hard to impress this almost gives me like major 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 deja vu when it came to june being introduced to uh, pace's parents and how how hard they were literally grilling her and like asking when that she was gonna have babies and so i'm not really sure if they're getting along right now uh to be completely honest he keeps giving keeps giving malik the thumbs down and xing out his daughter's face and it kind of <laughs> almost feels like Malik is trying to convince Daddy Pace that um he's he's got the best interest when it comes to Clem. The cutest thing ever is the fact that he just blew Judah a whole kiss and she's over here swaying her sassy little hips after all these years. They are more in love than freaking ever. And of course Clem's like, are you guys talking about me right now? Like what? What is what is what is going on? Um I really want June and Clem to go and do something like mother daughter. I just don't know what exactly. I think it'd be kind of cute to have the boys go and bond a little bit and then 
have uh, Clem and June go and do something. Uh, let me go and see if it is possible to maybe uh, leave them here because I feel like they need a little more bonding time. I really, like I said, I don't feel like Pace is extremely convinced about, you know, Malik because he has extremely high standards. Now, you can't explore unless you are on, gotcha, okay, so we can't actually do anything unless we're on the home lot, so that's a little, that's a little poopy, but maybe uh, Malik and Pace can leave the girl here and we can go to the bar so I think that's exactly what we're gonna do even though we just came here um I feel like it's almost imperative for these two to maybe go over to Patchy's bar and grill for a hot second and you know just 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 hash this out I love this though I love this about Pace he's always been a very overprotective father but like within reason you know um granted he did kind of like curse Marcel out in the laundry room <laughs> maybe we can come over here and or order a drink for our father-in-law or soon to be father-in-law let's just go and get some manly barely bales um on the uh, on the table here and then i think after that we might do a little um we might do just a little bit of darts some fun little games that kind of a thing and we'll get to know him a little bit better as well i think this is going to be really fun so we're gonna we're gonna go and tell him an unbelievable story we are gonna make some small talk talk about the cloudy weather and we're gonna also suggest about having some free time maybe you know hanging out with uh, just me and him getting to know each other better uh, also pr propose a crazy scheme about maybe going on a fishing trip just all these kind of little fun things also ask about his career and what he does and then maybe we can even show off our muscles because we realize that he has a huge interest in fitness meanwhile Cleb and Jude are over at the uh, at the rooftop cafe and I'm gonna make sure that they are totally just chatting it up and socializing and having a fun time this is really good that they're also just having a moment to talk about it but I didn't mean to like split them up but I almost feel like it was so imperative that did. So, um, it seems like they're definitely getting along. They're having a very pleasant, uh, <laughs> pleasant conversation. And maybe Malik isn't as bad as, as Pace thought. So, Malik has learned that Pace is a champion bodybuilder at the other sports team. That is pretty impressive, Mr. Foreman. I have always had an extreme interest in bodybuilding and shape sculpting. So, I started to feel kind of bad about ditching June and Clem. So, I decided just to peep back in on the girls and see how they were doing and they were totally having a very sentimental moment where they both started to get teary eyed because all of a sudden it just became so real to June. Her oldest little chick is finally freaking taking flight and spreading her wings and having a family of her own. Like she, she's going through the process with her. It wasn't like all of a sudden just like sprung on June like it was necessarily with Nixon and that definitely makes her feel a little misty eyed but honestly at the end of the day, June is seriously so freaking proud. <laughs> What do you mean? Give permission to leave. You are not her parent. Um, she is just feeling so super duper proud of the woman that Clem has became. And she knows Malik a lot better than Pace does. So, of course, she's like, you know, don't, don't, don't listen to daddy. He's just got to, you know, he's just got to grill this kid to make sure that he is a perfect fit for you. And, of course, you know, Clem totally understands and she appreciates her parents' concern. But at the end of the day, like, she, she knows that it's coming from the best place possible. And she couldn't feel any more grateful than she does right now so let's go over here and hug her lovingly it is getting a little bit late and I really wanted Malik to go ahead and kind of work on some of the things at home like especially maybe working on a few tracks that sort of a thing so I'm gonna see if it's possible for us to go and take a quick little photo like I am trying right now you guys to get as many photos of our parents as possible like I don't feel like it's time for them to age up and like pass away or anything um but i definitely feel like it's starting to get time where they should consider retiring and i wish it was possible for you to retire as an adult like i don't feel like that should be just strictly an elder thing because i don't know I should, that way you're kind of like you're forced to age up but I feel like you should I wish there was at least a mod for it or something I don't know anyway let's go and take a picture it's so cute to me how much she looks like her mama but then she has little like little aspects of pace just to kind of round out her features like that nose that nose has got to be her daddy's but those lips are her mom's the eyes I don't know the eyes are kind of maybe June's eyebrows definitely the ears those are her dad's oh my god I'm starting 
starting to realize how much of her father she really does resemble. So let me just go and kind of wrap things up here with mom. Um, it looks like she's also feeling a little sick. It does happen this time of year. Everybody thought she was freaking pregnant. There is no way in hell that Clem, Clem didn't even want to get married. Now she ain't going to have a baby out of wedlock. She wants to do everything by the book, um, even though I don't personally care, but that's what she just wants to do. So we're going to let her do what she, whatever, whatever she sees fits her life, right? So let's just go and send a little text message to Malik to let him know that we are going to be on our way home. So Malik and Clem came home at the exact same time and actually the little date with Pace went really, really well. They actually have a lot more in common and Pace feels a little more at ease about his daughter's choice in who she's going to marry. Not like she really had to say in it anyway. So I really wanted Malik to come over here and start kind of practicing some new tracks with this digital equipment and I'm really like, I love this. I, this is the first time I've ever played with this bad boy and I think it is so cool. Little did you guys know that my husband also has an interest in like DJing and mixing and all that kind of fun stuff. So I think it's really cool to like have a sim kind of like emulating something that happens in my real life. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let him produce this track. I have no clue what happens when he's finished with it. Um, but Clem on the other hand is out here. She's actually nomming on a little bit of her, I was gonna say cereal, but that's that's definitely salad. Um, and then after that, I wanna see if it is possible to go in look at what is available in terms of like adoption. I'm not 100% certain like what dog will go with. I mean, I'm pretty sure the whole golden retriever thing is pretty much locked in stone, but I don't know if it's like a possibility to like, you know what I mean? Just like kind of wait until we find the perfect perrucho. Speaking of other things <laughs> that have no no relevance to a dog, we need to come out here and pick up this freaking can. Like I'm kind of annoyed. I don't know. I don't know if this is something we'll be struggling with like all the time, what just happened, um, but that was just really weird. That was seriously so freaking weird. But let's go and see what kind of doggies are up for adoption. Cosmo is a cockapoo. Fish is a chow chow. We've got Garrus and we have Ragtime. Ragtime? Um, we have Senator and Ramsey. I don't see any dogs that are. Oh, a Cardigan Welsh Corgi, you guys. I used to have an Australian cattle dog. Uh, cattle dog. <laughs> cattle dog <laughs> cattle dog slash Australian. Wait, no. Wait. An Australian cattle dog slash cardigan Welsh corgi. Let me tell you, it was like a big dog, little legs. It's the weirdest thing ever. Anyway, let me see. We've also got the um, bull terrier. We've got another terrier, a lot of MLTs. Those are really cute. We've got this one. Um, and yeah, I don't really see any any uh, any golden retrievers. That might be actually like a shot in the dog. But I feel like maybe if we check tomorrow, we might end up getting a little more lucky. So Clem is probably going to go ahead and uh, turn on in. She's feeling really tired. We were able to complete all of our um all of our tasks now a part of me kind of wants Clem to get married as soon as freaking possible because she's not the one to be like in limbo land so I mean maybe like we could have our wedding in the next part if you guys are totally down for that uh, but that would be like tomorrow so maybe not necessarily no Saturday so that would be perfect actually that would that would definitely be like right on time so uh, let me know let me know some thoughts and theories I feel like we should definitely get them buried I, I could see them kind of getting married even um like uh, uh, what is it called? In Granite Falls. I think that would be kind of cool. I just want to do something a little bit different. I just, I don't know. Maybe a traditional wedding too. We'll have to see. But I'm just kind of speeding on through just to see what happens with this track. So we can remix the track. Oh my goodness. Okay, Oregon is off. Uh, Oregon stabs is off. Burn track. So I guess to burn it, this actually makes it a real a real thing, right? So we're just going to call it the Luke, Luke Warm in Slightly Chilly track I guess I don't know we'll go with it and just to see how it uh how it ends up working out and then release track oh that's cool oh my god okay you know what we need to have Malik create something for the wedding day like that needs that needs to happen. So in the comments down below for the question of the day, what should we name? What should we name Malik's track dedicated to Clementine Foreman? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm so excited. 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna go and release this one. I don't know what happens when you do. Maybe you start earning some freaking royalties or something. He actually has to pee pretty bad. He was up all night with that. And it says Malik's music, lukewarm and slightly chilly, has been uploaded to Simify service for everyone to hear. Let's hope it gets popular and a music label takes notice. <gasps> what? This is seriously so cool. This is literally perfect. So yeah, we also need to come up with a self-employed uh, name title. And uh, yeah, hopefully was not expecting this type of a phone call literally the morning after Malik leaks his very first music track. You guys, I am seriously floored to the ground right now, but obviously somebody's picking up what we are laying down. This chick goes, yo dog, I heard you jams. I'm like totally a music producer with Dinky Beats music label. We're going to sign you, yo. What do you think? Now, the, the the skeptic in me is probably like pause, cancel, and delete. See you later, Dinky Beats. But Malik, wanting to impress Clem, wanting to be on her level, wanting to be able to bring in the type of dinero that she is currently bringing in, is going to probably sign with this Dinky Beats music label. Now, if you guys have any experience with music labels, with the Sims or Get Famous, let me know because I could literally be signing my freaking soul to the devil right now and I would have no freaking clues. Guess we are going to sign on the dotted line and voila, signed with Dinky Beats. Hold on a second. Yo, you gonna work more music? We need a new track. It better be good too. If we don't get it soon, we might have to drop you. Okay, so like this is legit, y'all. We are really... We are really signed with the music label right now. This is kind of freaking cool. Like, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm super excited. Signed with Dinky Beats, Malik has signed a deal with a music label. They'll get a boost to the amount of royalties they get while signed, but make sure to keep releasing songs at a regular cadence to get the maximum revenue. Also, be careful. If Malik doesn't release a track for a long time, the label might decide to drop him. Use the cell phone at any time to check in with the label and see what you have to do and how long you have to do it. So obviously, Malik is going to jump straight out of his comma because he is so excited and also um we're getting we're getting like a really odd little like <laughs> stock a message from Kabir over here saying that we're in the news every day which is like you know probably not true but that's side um he's excited and he's also feeling very very inspired Clem she just shot straight out of the bed too he just wants to tell her what happened he's very excited about his freaking music deal with Dinky Beats in fact he's gonna come in here and he is going to give her a big old freaking betchy though right on the labios and then after that you guys are probably gonna wrap up this episode here and but before we do that i do want to see um what it is that we need to get done so apparently all that i needed to do here was i needed to go in to my telephone it said um it says check with the social media timeline chat with does this help no i could just like call someone maybe it's like up here maybe possibly so where do i check in with this stupid freaking record label i think it might actually be under work um okay yeah there it is so it's actually gonna be under work and it says check in with dinky beat so let's go and have malik Ooh, go and do like that she's actually much. very excited she oh, said congrats baby. babe oh so clem is in social media meanwhile malik is a music producer like this is crazy so far malik has a total of one tracks released malik has three days to finish a new song and release it if there is no new song by then dinky beats will be forced to cancel the contract okay cool so the next i guess record or track um that we're gonna that we are going to produce is probably going to be like some sort of like tribute to club because I just said that earlier so I guess let me know in the comments down below what that is something that incorporates club any way shape or form it doesn't necessarily have to be like super romantic it would be very helpful because we got three days to freaking do it so I'm definitely 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 gonna have to work on that and uh yeah what an episode I literally had so much freaking fun I love club and Malik's little life I think they are doing amazing things clearly moving it to the valley was a great choice for them and their future their future is so freaking bright so with that said you guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap up this episode here i hope you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time bye guys
was not expecting to receive this type of a phone call so soon after Malik's, Malik's, Malik, Malik's, get it, Malik, Leaks, 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 Oh my god. If you guys only knew how crazy it really gets behind the scenes. Mm -hmm.